Okay, we're here at Dollar General and all of these are bringing up one penny. The thing is with medicine now, they really try not to sell it to me, so let's see what happens. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are back home from penny shopping here slash coupon at Dollar General. And let me show you guys some of the different things that I picked up. First, I will start out with a coupon deal. So these one single count biofreeze patches are $1.75 at the store, but there is a $2.50 digital that is attaching and it gives you 75 cents of overage. Such a good deal. I have five accounts that I use between my family members and myself, and so I did five different transactions, so I picked up five of these. <clears throat> I also picked up five Fructis Garnier shampoos. So the deal with the shampoo is, is you had to initially clip that Dollar General $2 um, digital coupon um, that was a little while ago. It's not available to clip anymore, but if you happen to have that coupon saved, there is also a $1 manufacturer for Tease Garnier um, digital coupon that you can clip in addition because one's a store and one's a manufacturer coupon to get this for only one penny. It would be free, but since it's a Dollar General digital coupon that's working in conjunction with this deal, it makes it a penny. So. I did this five different times. Here's two of the different ones that I picked up. This one was Damage Eraser and Full in Plush. These both attached perfectly um, during my transactions. Um, so I picked up five of those guys. And five of these patches. Let me pick all these out. So I had 75 cents of overage in each of my transactions today and what I chose to do with it is my dad knows two of his coworkers that are having babies and so I just went to the dollar section and picked up some of the dollar wipes, the dollar shampoo, the baby shampoos, and the dollar baby lotions to eat up that overage and that means each item here was only 25 cents. So to get baby wipes, lotion, shampoo, all of these things for 25 cents each is a really good deal. Um, each of those transactions were 37 cents a piece with our tax um, in my area. And so I thought that was a really, really great deal. So that was all of the couponing. Let's get into the penny items. So. This item here, I have not seen on any of the lists yet. Um, it's a Rexall Jock Itch Powder Spray. It's an antifungal. Cures most, jock itch, relieves itching, chafing, burning, talc free. So this here, I have not seen on any of the lists. I've seen like the eye drops and the Debrox and the contact cleaner, but that I did not see on any of the lists. There's also a bunch of coffees and sodas. I did not find any of those today, which I was kind of sad about because if I could have found those sodas, I totally would have kept them for my kids' birthday parties um, coming up to have as like free drinks to use towards the party. So that would have been really nice, but did not find any of those. I did not see a single off-brand 12-pack of soda in any of the stores. Or I only went to two stores, so I didn't see any of that. Um, I picked up three of the Debrox Earwax Removal Aids. These were all a penny. So my app is still messing up where my penny items are bringing up zero dollars and zero cents in my app. But if it's bringing up zero dollars and zero cents, I just know it's going to be a penny um, when I go up to the register. So it hasn't really affected my penny searching. Um, it's just not bringing up a penny in my app anymore. It's bringing up zero dollars and zero cents. So that's kind of the glitch that's still happening with my app. But we are making do, guys. We are making do. And then I got four of these huge contact cleaners. I 
was a little nervous because anytime you do get um, food items on the penny list or um, medicine items, items could be expired or they could say there's been a recall on them and can't sell them or different things like that can happen. But luckily the lady didn't question me or say anything about me buying these penny items. But um, this one here expires tomorrow. So maybe she could have said like, hey, um, you can't buy those or something. It's recalled or it's about to expire or it has expired or something like that. So luckily she did not say anything like that. Me and my husband both use contacts. And so this is a huge score for us. Um, this is the premium sterile multi-purpose solution for soft contact lenses. Um, here is what that looks like for you guys. It has to be this white box with the blue and green letters on it. They have some in there that are solid blue or greenish color with wording on it. Those were not a penny, but these here were. These were not in the clearance section. These were in the regular aisle, still on the shelf, never had been moved to clearance. So for these penny items here, make sure you are checking the regular aisle in addition to the clearance section because um, some of these items were like a surprise penny and so they weren't on a list necessarily for the employees to pull. And so some of the items might still be in the regular aisle. Um, if the employee never moved them to clearance. So um, definitely be checking your um, like health care item aisle for these medicine type things. Um, and then also check your coffee section and near your sodas to see if you can find any of those items. It is the 12 pack Dr. Topper and their Mountain Dew version, their cola version, all of those in a 12 count. There's like an orange cola, a grape cola, all of those are pennies now as well. I was hoping I could find those, but I did not have any luck, but I am so grateful to score these um, contact solutions between me and my husband wearing contacts. It can get kind of expensive for these solutions because sometimes these are like five to $10 a piece. So this is like $40 worth of contact solution for us, which is really, really nice. Um, and then anytime I can get shampoo for a penny or free I go ahead and stock up especially since I am doing those um, care packages for the military um, these were money makers so these are always something that I think would be good to stick in with their little baskets and then to get these as well I think that's a really great idea and I don't know who knows maybe I could even send these as an option or even this I'm sure some of them in their outfits get chafed and things so I don't know all of this might end up going to the military except these I think we're gonna end up keeping but yeah guys I will um, see you next time I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if you guys like couponing saving money clearance items um, penny shopping any of those things because I do a lot of that in my free time um, and for you guys on this channel, I appreciate each and every one of you so much for subscribing and I will see you guys next time.